Mrs. May tells how she was a very naughty child that ran through a cornfield. I'm afraid I was an even naughtier boy at a slightly greater age uh, when I set fire to a cornfield by crashing into it <laughs> in, in a meteor with a belly tank full of fuel which caught fire and a lot of ammunition in the back which caught fire. Back in the 1940s, the first Labour post-war government, Attlee and his Foreign Secretary, Ernie Bevin, realised that there was a grave menace from the Soviet Union. They realised Churchill had been right in warning that. During that time, we were making sure that whatever happened, we would be able to fly against the incoming raiders. And it was decreed that whatever the weather in the annual defence exercise, we would go off. Whether anybody could see a field, airfield open to get back into or not. The aircraft were being asked to do something for which they were not equipped. In that year, an astonishing 500 fighter aircraft were lost. Over 300 pilots were killed. Mine was one of the aircraft. I was very nearly one of those killed, but I survived. <laughs>